Hi friends, welcome back to Skills to Scale YouTube channel where we will be practicing the daily speaking of English in simple sentences for day-to-day -day practice. Today's topic is on, let's understand some model verbs like will, shall, would, should, could, can, might, must, ought to be. So these kind of model verbs, let us see in simple sentences how to understand them so that we can use them in the right spirit whenever there is an occasion. So to start with, we have can and could. Let's see can. When you want to express ability in the present, I can speak four languages. That's your ability. And you are in the same thing if you want to say in past, I could, uh, I could play a guitar when I was a child. That's the ability. So you could play because you were, you were able to play a guitar when you were a child. If you want to express that, you can always say that I could play a guitar when I was a child. That's the basic difference. Ability in the present, can you can use. I can and could if you want to express something, the past, your ability which has happened in the past. Similarly, possibility. Smoking can cause cancer. There is every possibility in that. Possibility past and a lot of crime could be prevented. So that's how we use can and could. So if you want to have permission in, in the form of informal, can I use your book please? Then same polite if you want. Could I go home now? So can and could use more. Can is more used in informal way and could is used more of formal way. Could I go home? Could I go home now? And similarly, if you want to have a request, an informal request, can you hand me the pen? Similarly, formal request, polite. Could you lend me this book? This is the only difference. Otherwise, colloquially, if you are speaking, we can always say, can you give me that pen? Can you lend me this book? But if you are doing it officially, could you lend me this book? Would you mind giving me this book? That's how we do. So the same can if you want to use it as an offer, and then giving like help. Can I help you? And the suggestion, I could help you with English. You can also say, could I help you? And that is more formal. Thing. And cannot, if it cannot be allowed, you can say, you cannot smoke here. That's the thing. So same thing, conditional of can, if you, I could visit many places if I had more money. So that's what we normally call it as a conditional can. The other form is may and might. So if you are telling about the probability, then you may use this sentence. She may stand first in her class. That's a possibility. Same probability if you want to, visit. she thought, sorry, that's a small thing. She thought that she might return home in time. She thought that she might return home in time. That's the probability might. There's a more emphasis on this. Then if you want to use it as a permission case, may I have your pen? Same thing. The referee said that we might play a tie match. That's it. We might play a tie match. That's the thing. So then likelihood, what? It may rain tonight. There is every likelihood that it may rain tonight. And if you want to tell it in the humility, might I use your pen? This is the most very, very rare thing. We don't need to worry much about this. Then if you want to express keen desire, may she have a son? So you are you have a keen desire on her. May she are like a blessing. You know? Same thing if you are using it as a permission. My mother could do whatever she wanted to do. That's the uh, my mother might do whatever she wanted to do. So could, you can also use could or you can also use might here. My mother might do whatever she wanted to do. My mother could do whatever she wanted to do. Then in case of objective, I eat so that I may remain fit. You know, you're meeting an objective. Same thing if you want to say doubtful. He has not promised, but he might lend me money. He has not had promise, but he might lend me. There is a doubtful promise. Then you, may she get a good partner? That's the request. Then if your suggestion, I might visit many places if I had more money. I could visit many places 
if I had more money. So in terms of might, I, I might visit many. So there is always a, a possibility that could and might in many cases are used overlapped. Then will, example and function. I will give you a call on Monday. There is a possibility, possible function. I will take these books with me. Instant, there is an instant decision. That's the function here. We'll book your tickets if you like. There is an offer. We'll see an increase in salaries next year. Certain prediction. So this is how we will use. I will. We will. Then would. Would you mind if I open the window? You're asking for permission. Would you mind if I do this? Would you take me? Would you make me a coffee? Would you take me outside? It's a request. Would you be available at 6 p.m. tonight? If you are making some arrangements, you can say, would you be available at 6 p.m. tonight? Would like to go out sometime? Would you like to go out sometime? Invitation. You know? We would like to go out sometime. That's an invitation. We would like to go out sometime. Then if you are telling preferences, would you prefer the window seat or the aisle seat? So that's also another form of, uh, you know, uh, for different functions, for different occasions, how we use the model words will and would. And just keep practicing. Then shall. Shall I get the phone or will you? Shall is most commonly used for I and we. These two, uh, most better way of using that. I shall. Shall I call you? Shall we? We shall. That's the most uh, better way we normally call it as a Queen's English. Whenever we use shall, it's like a Queen's English. And then this is for asking what to do and offer. Shall I call a cab is an offer. Shall I get the phone or will you is asking what to do. Then should. Should is you should see a doctor because you don't look well. That's an advice. We should get a specialist. That's a recommending action. Salaries should go up next year, uncertain prediction. So must and should, we normally call it as a must and should. Must means it's a compulsion, is that obligatory, necessity. But should more emphasis, that's ought to. You ought to go to the dentist. You ought to go to the dentist before you leave. That's an advice. There is a not got here. You ought to go to the dentist before you leave. And must, you can use it whenever there is obligated and necessary. I must leave now to catch my train. You must obey your teacher. That's a obligatory and necessity there. So practice all these sentences. Keep listening like this. Practice as and when you get an opportunity. 